Hello everybody, welcome to what is almost certainly the worst guitar review ever, and not just of Guitar Summit 2019, just probably generally, although it might be one of three or four because this video was shot simultaneously on at least two other channels. So there's the same video going on Cheddar Kung Pao's channel, which is also live right now, and the same video shot at the same time going on Henning's channel, HP42, so you'll see us talk to different cameras at different times. Um, basically, it's a video about some guys hanging out around some really pretty guitars. But I have to give you this warning, and it's not a marketing thing. I'm not trying to uh, push you psych psychologically. Don't watch the video. Click away now, because it's utter rubbish. Now. If you're still here, then be it on your head. Have fun and enjoy Henning, me, and a lot of other guys at Guitar Summit 2019 talking about Schecter guitars, amongst other things. Too much to look at. <laughs> Film the screen. Ready? <laughs> I'm wasting good tape there. Hello! Hi! Yeah, it's not your turn. Oh, sorry. Hello! Hi! I say okay. hello, then you wait. Right. How long do I wait for? Till I say hello, people on the internet. Right. Hello. Ah. One more people time. People on the internet. Hello, people on the internet. No, 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 no. I say that. Okay. And then you say whatever you want to say. Okay. Hello, people on the internet. Yeah. Hello, people on the internet. I'm here. I'm here. This is Andy. Uh, yeah, I am. We've known each other once, <laughs> and then. It's been a wonderful journey and ever he, since. And he found better friends. And genuinely, the reason that we're friends is because of Schechter Guitars. Uh, we wouldn't be friends if it wasn't for a company that make guitars and then they put the name Schechter on it. Oh, someone's clicking at me. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Um, hello, people of the internet. Hey, look, what are we doing? Um, we're doing my channel now. But my channel's still running. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Um, go and watch my video, it's over on my channel, The Guitar Geek. Right, okay. Um, I'm here with uh, this guy, he's called Henning. And what's your surname? What? What's your surname? Your family name? Pauli. Pauli. Henning Pauli. And uh, we've been friends for a very long time, uh, since he was about this big. And, well, what can I say? Speechless. Now I'm recording for my channel. Okay. Okay, no. Dave's channel. Uh, we're on Dave's channel over here. <laughs> Hi. Hey, uh, Dave's viewers. Hello, Dave's viewers. All 1,600 of you. It is an honor to be on this channel finally. Henning Pauli here, HP42. Yeah, I'm the Guitar Geek. I'm not HP42, but it's been a goal of mine to be on Cheddar Kung Pao's channel for a long time. I've been there. Have you? Have you on a live stream? I've been on a live stream, that's true. Hang on, we're back to my channel. Um, I've been on a live stream with Cheddar Kung Pao. We should probably get back to your channel now. Yes, uh, we have been on a live stream with Cheddar Kung Pao, but now it's about Check the Guitars. I don't know what's going on here. I wanted to make a good video, and it went down the crapper. Check the Guitars over here. So, um, you know, no, no, don't, no, 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 Michelle, you're, you're in front of the camera. Meta. We're so meta right now. This is difficult. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one up. You know that the Nick Johnson signature is a brilliant guitar. Everyone loves mine to death that I have. Because, you know, I have one. I've never been to your place, so I wouldn't know. Well, you had a chance to be there. Mm, some kind of, uh, some kind of event that you were, I... You were invited. Well, you invited someone that I didn't want to spend time with. So, you know who you are, Ryan. <laughs> um, they do have. Let's get back to Shakta. Oh, that's that's. I'm sorry, that's too heavy. Really? That's awesome. But that's yeah. that's the the less expensive, affordable. No, don't push down on it. Um, but this is beautiful with the roasted maple. That's the affordable uh, Nick Johnson. But let, let, let's trade now. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Yeah. See. Okay, that's the one I picked up whilst I was working in a shop, and that's how heavy I thought they were. That's heavy. That's a good. Well, this is still fairly heavy. This is thirty three hundred, and this is Marty. How much? Uh, around nine hundred. Around nine hundred. Who's telling me on that? I don't. I'm, 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 Dave. 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 Channel. Dave channel. Uh, Cheddar Kung Pao. Uh, this one is not so heavy. This is heavier. Okay. This is nine hundred. And this is more than nine hundred. Three something. Yes. And uh, this has a roasted maple neck, and this has a wingy, wingy, wingy. It, it, both of them are great instruments, but uh, of course Schecter is not necessarily no, necessarily known for the authentic S-type. No, no, no. They are known for the guitar, even though they do a lot of other stuff. What about this one? 
Oh, you like your explorer? I do like my explorer. Well, how about you talk to those people about the explorers? Because my people don't want to know about explorers. Really? I don't know. Do you want to know about explorers? Yeah. Well, okay then. We'll stay on your channel, Henning. Are we on your channel? Yes. Okay. Henning's channel. Hi. Uh, Guitar Geek here. This is um, kind of inspired by some adventurer, or, you know, we might want to say. Traveller. Traveller. The adventurous traveller. traveller. Yes, the one who, who would like to um, go places they've never been before. An explorer. I wouldn't use that word. Ah, no. That's too far. Okay. And then what they did whilst they were there, uh, what's another word for exploring? Like seeking, or seeking, discovering, digging, discovering. discovering. Yes. Um, they built this guitar whilst they were discovering things. And uh, as you can see, it's got two two voices. Each pickup has two voices. Because it's the fish from Truant. Yeah, and that one is Henning, and that one's me. And it's got a spoke wheel adjustment. So actually, Fishman Fluence spoke wheel, um, probably I'm gonna go maybe a graph tech bridge, who knows? But the thing is... Would you, call, would you call that a bridge or a nut? I would call you a nut, I would call this also a nut. Okay. Um, but uh, none of it. I mean, everything modern. Yes. And, oh, look at the rounded of fret edges. You know what this isn't? What isn't it? Authentic. It feels authentic, and when I hold it... This is a very authentic Schecter. Hey, locking tuners, hello. Schecter branded. Probably, they don't make them at Schecter. They make them somewhere else. They stamp Schecter on them! Ooh, a teta de guitarra. Yeah. Wait. No, that's Spanish. Oh, sorry. So, si. Con queso. This, this is where you can store things you shouldn't... Let's go to my channel. See, they put a battery in here at the moment. But I know what they really put in there. In the right, Marty. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> so we'll go back to Dave's channel. Don't ask Marty what they keep in there normally. When they <laughs> okay, well, it's rock and roll. It is rock and roll. It's rock and roll. And the Where's best thing is that if you've got a hamster, you can like put that in the bedding and it really makes it comfortable. It's called a hamster. Why is Dave so far away with my shotgun mic? Uh, let's go to let's go to your channel, Henning. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna go and discover. What I want to do here. is I want to take a picture of this right there. That is instantly Instagrammable. You guys are nuts. Okay. Um, check that has the the uh, line the uh, what what is the line called again? Um, Omen. The apocalypse, Omen. which were swamp ashy, uh, satin stained, really cool guitars, and now they came out with. The blood red is just, yeah, they were like this. I have Henning, one like that. Henning, what? I think that might be the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. This? Yeah. I totally didn't see it, and, and now. Really? Yeah, I need that in my life. Talk to Marty. Marty! Look, look, matching headstock, or for the French people, the matching headstock. I don't speak French. Look, and look at the pickups where you, it looks like the, the wire Winding. is, the windings are actually red copper. Let's go to the only good camera in this field. <laughs> no, me, me, hello, Michiel, that doesn't work like that. That is genuinely, that has made me feel tickly in my nether regions, in the Netherlands. It is, it but, is but very the rare. The only problem I have is I don't speak Latin, and that is confusing me. That's, uh, they're, 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 you don't have to speak it, they are uh, numbers. Nope. 7, nope. 14, 29. Oh, right, okay. How oh, is it like Pythagoras? How about that, man? Yeah. Yes. Um, so, what else do we have? Uh, we're going to my channel now. Hi, everybody on the Guitar Geeks channel. It's Andy back here with Henning, HP42 from that channel, uh, who's currently being camerad by, thank you, by that channel over there. Hi, Dave's subscribers. This. This has confused me now because this might also be the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen some very beautiful guitars recently. All right, that, that, that isn't doing it for me as much. No. I don't know why. Same color. I know. Wait, maybe because I was holding it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's the depth. I don't have any depth. I think what it was is when it's down there, it's, it's like dark. Oh when yeah. It's up here, it's less dark. Mm -hmm. This is probably very difficult to photograph. Probably. For videos, probably not the best. And then, and then, and then, and then. They have the new, I mean, what new, at NAMM they introduced the Reaper series. And here they are now. 
because what just gonna look at the back. Yeah. Because whatever they did at NAM, of course, took a while to come out. Uh, this is. Oh, touch this. I mean, touch my wood. Ooh! Reach around, touch my wood. That's good, huh? That's like stroking a baby mole. A baby mole? A baby, not not like um, or adult or even a teenage mole, but that. That's good. Cool. Yeah, that that is that is baby mole. Yes. Um, volute. That's the actual word for that. Um, this is light as fuck. Laugh, it is. Don't say that word on my channel. What, fuck? Yes. How much do you have to edit that out? I don't know, it depends how many times you say it now. Fuck, 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 fuck. This was inspected, I mean, I know you need this stuff. On the 7th, it's all the wrong way around. 2019. Either the 2nd of July or the 7th of February, I'm not sure. But that's the kind of content that you get on the Guitar Geeks channel. Honey, wake what, up. What, okay, um, blue. Uh, Whoa, <laughs> steady on with the specs there. <laughs> three positions. Whoa, three you're positions getting all switch. geeky and techy over here. You can pull the thing. Dots. See, dots I can do. Look, I can read that. That's getting in the way, that's going to be a problem. Well, just play up here. Okay. I love their 3D cut headstock. Yeah. This one. There seems to be a fourth camera coming into the mix right now. No, I think Robin's just on the phone now. Okay. No, it was you. Um, this is cool, and I think the price point on this. Whoa! EVP, whatever that, whatever EVP means. Uh, every. What, what, what's EVP? Expected. So that's not street. That's maybe. Possibly something. Suggested retail. So it, Suggested it's retail. probably five bucks lower than eight ninety nine. Eight ninety four. Um, eight ninety four. And that's a good metal instrument right there. Let me do this because I have to, and I'm very, very, very sorry to the nice people from Schechter. Hey, Marty, does it come in a cardboard box or actually in a gig bag? Marty's like, okay, it'll come in a cardboard box because, well, the gig bag, Schechter can't pay for. You know I have to do that, right? You're always doing I'm always doing it up to the point when Schechter actually delivers gig bags on guitars over 700 bucks. What do you think? I think I have so many damn gig bags in my life that if they sent me one in a gig bag, I would throw it in the fire. Let's get Lasse in here. Come here. Come here, Lasse. Hi, guys. Hey. Lasse Lamad, right here. Mr. Metal. Yeah, Wait, what do you think? yeah, yeah you would. I've got like zippers on my jacket. I don't want to scratch oh. it. But if you scratch it, you can take it home actually. Mm. For so, free. So what Just do you what, what do you think? It's eight ninety nine gig bag or no gig bag? Should it be included? Yes or no? Honestly, I don't really use gig bags at all. <laughs> Fine. Okay, Shakta is completely right <laughs> about. Delivering this guitar without a gig bag, I'm wrong. I apologize to Schechter from here on forth with. Then again, there's other stuff you can put into the gig bag. Like if you don't put a guitar in, that's always like mics or cats. Ca cats. Because if you if you put a cat in the gig bag, you can actually put it on Instagram, and that'll boost your guitar skills. You have kids. You have kids. Mm -hmm. Sleeping bag for kids. Well, brilliant idea. There and you, you go. can also walk around with them, and the you know the head stays. Tight. In fact, actually, I did a uh, like a workshop thingy uh, for Bakken, and Nips was there from a uh, Saxon bass player, and it was really cold, so he actually slept in his gig bag. And that's no joke. It's actually a true story. <laughs> so, are we back to maybe gig bag? Gig bag. It's right. versatile. Even if, if, if you now, now, now we've really got to the real reason to have a gig bag. I'm in. Schechter, <laughs> you need to start supplying some cat bags with this. Do it. <laughs> Slash sleeping bags, nicely powdered. Imagine that, it came out and it had a hood that came out. With Schechter written on it. It would convert yeah, yeah, and maybe some arms. A pouch on the front where you could just like put your earplugs or like... Yeah. Whatever you need for your... See, a gig bag is a good idea in general. How do you like this? Is that metal enough for you? I actually just recorded pretty much the same guitar last year for, for the new 8 song record. Yeah. Look like that anyway. You're not too much into. I mean, I see a lot of stuff that you're posting. You're not too much into. It doesn't have figure to be tops. Black. No, I do like figure tops. I just don't like the. There are some companies that do figure tops but can't do a proper solid finish. But I, I know you have a lot of like those uh, ESPs and some Ibanez, and you like the the pinks and the neons. Pink, uh, and the I mean, come green. on. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it needs. 
It, you go I for the neon stuff. Because like I used to have a guitar player in my band that said anything that's not black is not metal. So sounds like Dave Friedman. Kind of. So I just started <laughs> playing like pink guitars and uh, neon green <laughs> just guitars. Just to piss them off. Just to piss them off. Yeah. yeah. And to show that it's passive aggressive. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very German of me, isn't it? Well, uh, that was uh, Schechter. That was Alasso. That was I don't know. And um. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um. Lasse. A little book of calm. Yeah, I know that this is a very stressful time. It's got time. chunks in it. <laughs> My favorite uh, series. Would you please say stop? Stop. And then left or right? Left. Left. Can you choose an interesting in, in, in Manny's German. accent? In, no. Bill Bailey's accent, please. In a what accent? Bill Bailey. Bill Bailey. Little, Bill, Bill Bailey is West Country, right? It comes from West Country, right? Do, Bill you, do you know Black Books, the series? I do know Black, Black Books. Books. That's right. where it's from, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Put you on the spot there. Well, it's actually where I'm from, so it's hard to do my own accent. <laughs> Accept only one deadline, right? Deadlines are at the root of so many stress problems. Take on only one deadline at a time, and you will become master of your own time. That's it's good advice, but it's never going to happen. I know in your world that's not happening. It's not happening. It's most certainly not happening in my world. It's absolutely not happening. How about you? <laughs> Bye. What? What? Give me, give me that. Oh, come on. Bullshit. I read the whole thing. I read the whole thing. You actually did? I really only know it from Blackboard. It's the same book. He gave it to me when my my, my, uh, camera gear got stolen two years ago. (laughs) And I had it in the pocket of my jacket. And when I flew to Nam, I read the whole thing on the flight to Nam. And then I gave it back to Andy because I was done with it. And now we find out that not a lot of it is true. This is like a add a drop of lavender and just soak yourself calm. That isn't it. It's I'm gonna go and uh, at least on this channel we're gonna go. Thanks, Lasse. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to folks. Uh, you, you do your thing. Take care, guys. Nice um, to meet you. Bye, thanks boys. to this guy. Thanks to Schechter. Cool stuff. Thanks and to it's you. affordable. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thanks to all the people that watch us for reasons that we don't know. I know. And you're very sick people. <laughs> what are we saying? Uh, animals at the end. You yeah, say it to them. Animals at the end! Cut that bit out. (laughs) Cut that bit out.